Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, myself Prem Kasi, Chartered Accountant and Company Secretary. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you all on how we can buy any sort of cryptocurrency that can be Binance, Ethereum, Matic, DOT, Tron, XRP or whatever using P2P trading that is enabled in BNB. So the reason why I'm picking only P2P trading is that the other options with respect to bank transfer, credit card or debit card, using some other third party services like Simplex or even uh, Paxos, they are costly or talking about the first two uh, ways which is the bank transfer and uh, debit card, credit card, those are completely blocked. And these are blocked not only in uh, Vizirx Zepay, even CoinSwitch or even in Binance also it is not working that I will show you see, it just became too laggy, correct? So we cannot buy. Uh, these sort of tokens that we want using these modes. So as a result, I'm just sticking myself or restricting myself to P2P trading. And what exactly is P2P trading is that it just like OLX, like I have Bitcoins, I have some XRP, I have some uh, kind of uh, USDT that I am listing in this particular Binance as a seller. And if you are interested, you can directly buy from me instead of your order being routing through Binance. Okay, so that is all about the P2P trading and uh, that is something which we are going to see right now. So let me give you the use case. So assume that I just want to buy a uh, Bitcoin. Okay, so I want to buy Bitcoin and now I'm using this P2P trading. So that's the scenario. So there are two steps in this particular scenario. First thing is you need to buy USDT because that's a stable currency and uh, of course supply will be huge. So that will be buying first. And the second thing is we'll be converting that particular USDT to Bitcoin or Ethereum or Matic, whatever you want. Okay, so that is the agenda or that is the objective that we want to achieve. So first thing is that uh, definitely, yes, you need to set up your Binance account. I'll give you my uh, referral ID in the link or the, in the description of this video. Just if you have never opened up Binance account, go get your account open, get your KYC verified. So let me show you how it looks like once your KYC is verified, you should see this particular tag of verified. So only then you are you are eligible to trade okay so which means that your bank account has been also added and you are eligible to trade okay so now coming back to the main agenda so click on p2p trading first and then you need to ignore this notification for the time being yeah i'll just ignore okay okay fine so first thing you need to do is select the currency that you want you can even buy bitcoin as well from this market but you can see when the market price is roughly around 28 lakh or 29 lakh these particular sellers are selling at 32 lakh which is too much so i'm not going to uh, use directly p2p trading on b2c rather i want to take the leverage of usdt then convert this usdt to bnb at market price so that gives me some price advantage right so considering that i'm first purchasing the B, uh, usdt then i'll be swapping it to bitcoin okay so if you see here there are many sellers who are listed with binance to sell their amount of usdt balance okay so let me refresh it once because these rates are something which will keep on refreshing at uh, frequent intervals okay but can i buy from the first user and you can see the price as well which is 82.7 when the market price of usd dollar is around 75 77 this guy is charging me 82 because this is a secondary market and you can expect that price differences based on the demand and supply okay but the most important factor is that i cannot even get it 82.7 the reason is see he is giving a limit which means that i need to spend a minimum of 51749 rupees to buy from this particular seller at 82.7 price which is something i'm not uh, very convenient and you can see this particular vendor or seller is offering at uh, 20000 and you can find much more or less if your if our time is good yeah this particular vendor is okay for a minimum six thousand as well so i think it's good time to go with this vendor because uh, I, I don't want to show a demo with a may, uh, big amount <laughs> yeah okay so once we finalize that particular vendor or the supplier and you can see the number of counts as well that shows their ability 572 trades so he's reliable other way yeah so click on buy see again this got updated so i need to refresh yeah, I have done my refresh. So again, we'll uh, spot that particular uh, supplier that we have seen. Or yeah, we'll go with this guy, 5,000. Just click on that. Enter the amount. 
as you can see i'll start typing 4000 it says minimum amount is 5000 so i'll be typing 5000 so and then by usdt but how i'll be paying it paying to him that is with these payment modes upa simple google pay or uh, phone pay or even account transfer as well see he has given his account number account uh, name and all also he has given this uh, upa id so now what you need to do is at this particular scenario you need to minimize this particular application go to your phone pay uh, give your uh, that particular upa id that has been shown by this particular vendor that is something which you can see here copy that to your uh, thing yeah you can copy go to your phone pay pay to him the exact amount 5000 exact amount okay once you pay come back to the screen and then you click on transferred next okay this yellow icon once you do that what will happen is the binance will be uh, will be maintaining an escrow account of this particular seller and once the trade supplier receives this particular amount of 5k binance as an intermediary will transfer so and so usdt by converting uh, this is inr by converting that to uh, the 82 point something that we have seen the price tag and that amount of usdt will be transferred to your wallet binance wallet there ends the first step i'm not doing it because you know i don't want to spend and i already have a demo amount and that will be quite sufficient for you to understand right so i'm not exactly doing the gp or phone pay but i'm sure i have told you the exact process just to do your phone pay or google pay to this uh, particular upa id and click on transfer next Katam, nothing else okay once you do that you will be uh, getting this particular usdt deposited in a matter of say 10 minutes max okay since i haven't done i'm, I'm just cancelling this okay once you do that you will be receiving a notification in this notification bar from binance saying that so and so amount of wallet uh, usdt has been deposited in p2p wallet what is p2p since you bought in p2p market you will be your amount will be shown in p2p and whatever currency that you bought against that balance will be updated assuming that uh, in usdt i bought some uh, 11 dollars that is being shown here okay right so with this how i'll buy bitcoin correct so first thing is you need to transfer from p2p to spot wallet what is spot wallet that's the wallet that is that is used for market transactions p2p is something you bought from a supplier maybe you might you can also sell to other sub other uh, buyers as well so that's a p2p wallet and uh, the previous one is the spot wallet which deals with market orders okay now i want to transfer my balance to p2p to spot for that you have an option called transfer and uh, click on transfer automatically there is a uh, selection p2p wallet to spot wallet and the currency what i have in my sp uh, p2p is the usdt not btc so i'll be selecting that you can see a uh, frequency selection selected as well so i'll be selecting from there and what is the amount that you want to transfer and you can see there is 11 dollars so i want to transfer max so i'll click max if you want to enter any customized amount i can enter as well so for the timing i'll click max transfer Katham. so first aspect is done you can see your uh, p2p wallet is zero this got updated with zero spot wallet is updated with uh, usdt of 11 dollars yeah done so now the real thing you want to buy btc right so for that go to home click on search or even you can click on this B2 btc as well okay but you see the trading pair is busd binance usd but we have usdt so we need to change the pay so i'm coming back and uh, searching from here search icon so start entering btc you can see all the trading pairs all btc trading pairs um, countless number of pairs has come now the appropriate pair is btc to usdt correct so that you need to select and once you selected that you need to click on buy again market orders limit order whatever I think you are well aware of this limit order is something where you can specify the buy price market order is something which you will be buying at a market price so for this demo i'll be showing you market price cause that transaction executes in real time correct and uh, yeah what is the quantity again you can see four helpers 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent so depending on my wallet balance i can either select like this or i can even enter the dollars imagine i'm entering ten dollars which means that only ten dollars worth of b2p b, b uh, bitcoin will be bought up so once you click on buy btc your transaction is successful so where you can see go to wallets go to your spot market spot wallet just give an update and uh, by this time you should see the bitcoins being shown so as of now it didn't show i think now mm -hmm. yeah it's shown see 9.99 dollars 
so that's it as simple as that in this p2p approach the main approach the main advantage is that your bank account will not be traced because you are not directly dealing with the binance or uh, zepay or wazirx for that matter you are dealing with a third party who is a seller in this p2p okay so that's the advantage p2p is having of course you need to pay extra price for this particular uh, approach yeah so now how you can sell is like again go to that again go to uh, yeah go to the pair which means that BT btc i want to sell and convert into usdt that i will be selecting go to sell select again market or limit uh, you can select your uh, what i can say percentage i mean of the balance of the wallet and can click on sell must be around greater than 10 okay just give me a try order amount okay i think there might be a uh, some limitation but that should not be let me give it a try what is that error order amount must be greater than 10 oh sorry i think this one hmm. okay so yeah so so this is the thing minimum order should be ten dollars since we are lacking by 0.07 dollar it's not getting executed no matter just buy the balance bitcoin 0.07 and uh, execute your sell transaction so that's all about buying and selling on binance platform depending on the p2p mode of uh, buying the cryptocurrency that you want so that's all for today and uh, deliberately or intentionally i'm not showing you the other modes of transport as you can see there is lot of traffic on this particular things and uh, it's not working as desired yeah even you can see if i enter this uh, deposit amount again it is see you can see here see all this neft rtgs imps are disabled in coin switch and the same goes with the zap as well so due to these limitations i'm not uh, able to explain you that particular things when when these particular things are available i'll definitely show you a demo yeah until then uh, keep learning this particular things and uh, again i'm just repeating myself do not invest more and more amounts invest only little amounts to the extent you can bear the losses never invest huge amounts well so that's all for today and uh, what topics that you want to see in the next videos give me a comment in the uh, comment section i'll make a video on that thank you prem kasi